Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. This is the final video in our series where we are designing a custom responsive hero section for our Blogger website. So in the last video, we added this uh, hero section to one of our Blogger websites. In this video, I'll show you how to add this to the custom theme that we created from scratch. We're going to replace this with this hero section right here. And on the other pages, we will have this uh, header right here. But on the home page, we will have this new hero section. So let's get started. Now to make things easier and faster, I'll just copy code from uh, this theme and add it to this theme. So let's go to the theme code of this website and uh, let's go to edit HTML. So first of all, let's copy the links of uh, the railway font. So copy this and uh, let's go to the theme code of uh, this website. And let's add the theme code over here in the head section. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, copy all the CSS. So this is the CSS. Let's copy this from here to the end. And let's paste this inside uh, this theme. So we'll paste it right here. And uh, now let's copy the code of the hero section. So it starts from here. This is uh, the if condition. So let's copy it from here till here. And uh, let's paste it. inside the body and let's also add the JavaScript so let's go to the end of the theme code and uh, let's copy it from here till here and go to the end of this theme code and paste it right here now let's save this and see whether we get any errors. So here we can see more than one widget was found with the ID block search 2. So we already have a block search 2 ID in our theme code. So let's change it and uh, we'll change it to block search 3. And uh, let's save it. And now we don't have any errors. Let's go back to our website and refresh our page. So here we can see the hero section is being displayed. We have to change some things over here. We have to remove this uh, existing navigation bar from here. And then we also have to remove the old hero section. So let's do that. So if you scroll down, we can see here is the code for the top navigation. So we'll just display this navigation bar if we are not on the home page. So let's add an if condition over here. And I'll just copy this uh, if condition from here and paste it over here. And I'll just type is not equal to the home page and close the if condition. Right now, I'll just remove this header from here. And now let's save this and uh, let's refresh our page. And here you can see the new hero section is being displayed. And you can replace these menus with the previous menus that we had in the old navigation bar and add the links of those pages over here. And uh, we have a problem with this uh, background color for this button. We'll fix that. And uh, if you go to any other page, we can see we have the other header. And if you go to the home page, we have the new hero section displayed over here. Now there are two things we need to do in this hero section. First of all, we need to make the width of this hero section 100%. Right now it is not 100%. We have this gap over here on the left and the right. If you want to keep it this way, you can just keep this code as it is. But I'll just show you how to add 100% width to this uh, hero section. And we'll also change the background color of this search button. So first of all, right click over here and click on inspect. And let's see what is the selector for this. So here we have top nav search container input type equals submit and block search 
two input type submit. So these are the two things we have. So let's go ahead and add a new class to this input button and uh, let's style that. So right now the ID of the block search is block search 2. Let's change this to 4 and uh, let's save it. And now we can see we have the correct color for our search button. We also need to add a little bit of margin top to this uh, button. So right click over here and click on inspect. So for hero container A dot button, we can just add a margin top of say 32 pixels or we can just decrease that to 16 pixels. So let's copy this and paste it inside hero container A dot button. So paste it over here and save it. Now let's add 100% width to the hero section. So for that we have to make some changes in our HTML. So we have header wrapper as the container division of our hero section. And let's go to our website and uh, right click over here and click on inspect. Here for the header wrapper we have set a max width of 1152 pixels. This was basically set for the previous hero section that we had for our theme. It also had the same class for the container division. So we have to make some changes in the class name. So we'll just change the header wrapper class to header wrapper new and uh, let's go to the CSS and update that. So we'll change wherever we have header wrapper in the hero section to header wrapper new. Do that over here and uh, let's see where else we have. Here we have it, header wrapper new. All right, that's it. So let's save it. And let's refresh our page. And now we can see we have 100% width for our hero section. And uh, we can even search for something. Let's try it. And we have the search result over here. So that's basically how you add our uh, responsive hero section to our custom theme that we created from scratch. I'll also show you the mobile version. So this is how the mobile version looks. You can replace these uh, menu items with the menu items of the previous navigation menu we had and uh, update all the links. So that's basically for this video. This is the end of this series where we have designed this hero section from scratch for our blogger website. I will leave the link of the complete playlist in the description below so you can just watch everything from the start and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description below. Alright, so if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.